Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enjoy the Bounty of Planning with Tonisha Taylor. So I am in a little bit of a new space today. Um, I decided to transform one of the other rooms in my house to have a little bit more office space. Um, I'm going to be working from home for the foreseeable future and I realize that I just need a little bit of a different space so that sometimes things feel just a little bit different um, in the working process. So this is going to be my new space. I'm trying it out. I think I, I think I like it so far. So this might be my new space where I actually record these planner videos. So that way I can leave more of my planning stuff out on the desk and not have to put it all away in order to do the work stuff. So I came on here real quick uh, because I got my new stuff from Fancy Plans. I'm so excited. You guys are gonna get an actual unboxing video from me where I actually unbox from scratch. <laughs> Um, cause normally, you know, I get so excited. I've already looked at everything. Um, and then I kind of like faux unbox with y'all. Um, so let's go ahead and put that over to the side. So when you order from Fancy Plan, she always puts everything in this really cute little white kind of paper bag, um, which is lovely. Let's take it out here. I'm so excited. Um, I put that to the side. So this um, is just her little um, sort of thank you card that you get in the order when you order from her. Um, I already have one of these in my book that I use for decor, which I love. So I'm going to put that to the side. Um, and then this is everything that I ordered. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So I ordered um, these little flags, which I'm already a little concerned about because I might now see, Kita, I see what you did there. Um, so these are on a little plastic card. So hopefully, um, so one of the things I'm not sure about with recording in this space is the lighting in here is more yellow than like clean white. And so I don't know if you're gonna end up with a lot of shadow, I hope not. Um, but so this little card, it's soft, it's not a hard plastic card, but it is clear as you can see. And it just says fancy plans um, on the bottom. I'll just bring that up a little bit so that you can see that. Um, so this is kind of like a white and then this is kind of like a, like a light, like taupe or, um, color and then like a rose and a gray. I love, 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 love this color scheme. So I was super excited to pick those up. Now, um, I also, I basically just ordered fill paper and I never, and then some planning sheets and I don't have her punch. I punch my, for myself, um, which gives me a little bit more flexibility because then I can, before it's punched, I can run everything through the printer um, for the things that I might want to print first. So um, that really helps me out a lot. So I got this, everything is in classic, um, the Happy Planner classic size. So this is just some basic dot grid paper. Um, as you can see, her dots are um, they're little and they're fairly light. They're really, but it's just, you know, regular dot grid paper. Um, and then I did order, uh, two, yep, two packages of Cornell notes. Um, I prefer Cornell notes for meeting notes. Um, as you guys know, I am a department chair. And so a lot of what I have to do in terms of notes are kind of project-based often. And so it's really helpful to have notes here and then to be able to write to the side what is the big thing that those notes kind of relate to. And then you have some summary space down here at the bottom. So this is a little bit bigger than the layout that I normally use, but you know, I'm always telling you guys, I write small, right? 
And so this is actually set with a line spacing that's good for people if you're not, if you don't write super tiny like I do. Um, so this could be really great for you. It is two-sided. So you have the same look on both sides, okay? Now I purchased the digital downloads of both of these and I loved them. So I decided to order them pre-printed from her so that I could use the pre-printed sheets. So this is the goals sheet. Now y'all know I do my research planning and set up my research goals in my bullet journal. But what's really helpful is to be able to have like this short list of goals in my planner for days when I can do research and I'm on campus. So that way I don't have to bring, especially nowadays, I don't have to bring both my, um, my administrative planner and my bullet journal with me to campus. So this is what I'm going to use to be able to write those goals and those research projects because it also will allow me to just kind of focus on what are just the little things that I'm going to do while I'm on campus, right? The whole big research plan is going to be in the bullet journal. So this is two-sided, so you can use both sides. So that means that I could really be able to, on one sheet, I can actually have six different projects that I am keeping track of um, in my uh, planner every day with me. And this, because these goals are, these are research projects that I'm going to be doing on here. They're going to be long term. And so that means that you're talking about something that's going to go with me to the next month's note section. So really excited about that. And then the last thing are the pre-planning pages. I am so excited about this because I, like I said, I did the digital download of this as well. It printed out smaller, so it didn't print out this big. And I kind of figured I probably wasn't setting the print margins correctly. Um, and so I wanted to do the get it ordered from her so that the print margins would be set right. These are also two sided. So they have the, they say notes on the back side, and you have just line paper here, and then grid paper at the bottom. And these are, um, honestly, I love them because you can, and I talked about this in one of my other videos, right? They're just numbered one to 31. And you just write in the way that I'm going to use them for pre-planning is write in the most important things that are happening on the day. I'll probably go ahead and use the dots um, from cloth and paper. Where are my dots? So I'll use my cloth and paper dots or my planner press dots. And I'll just put the dot next to the days that are like a days with meetings or like really big things that um, I need to like really focus on. The way that I did it last month is I did dots actually for the days when I'm supposed to be going to campus because I have to go once a week and then I did flags for things that were multi-day and then I highlighted some other things so and then for the to-do list I also used dots for some things that needed to have like kind of big things and then I just kept this little square flag on here for anything that like I just needed right I like doing the meal plan on here, even though this is really my work planner. Um, I like having the meal plan here because what it did is it kind of forced me to think about, because I have uh, nights when I teach. So it kind of forced me to like plan ahead so that, because especially on my teaching night, I can sometimes end up eating really late, which isn't healthy. Um, but it all comes down to the fact that I didn't really think about it ahead of time. So I am really, really excited about these. I just now realized that I do not have my punch um, next to me. And I do want to punch one so that you can see. And I just got two packages of these. Um, so let me see if on the billing she says, because I do not remember how many pages are in 
each thing. <laughs> um, and it does not say on the description. Um, let me go grab my punch and then look that up real quick. I will be right back. Okie dokie, I am back. So I got my punch. So <laughs> go ahead and punch these pre-planning pages, which I am super excited about. So this order, I do kind of go back and forth on my like ordering. So sometimes I order um, from Fancy Plan Shop on Etsy and then sometimes I order directly from her website. This order I ordered from Etsy. Um, it doesn't really matter. Well, and then this, um, it's eight sheets. Um, I think, let me just double check. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. It's 12 actually in this one. Um, and so you, like I said, you have the month pre-planning on the front and then the notes on the back. And so since this is one that I would not run through the printer, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and just punch a couple of sheets right now. I don't punch them all, I leave the rest in the packaging and then punch them when I need them. So I'm gonna do one for November and one for December. So that's why I punched two for right now. And then I'll just put the rest of this back for later. And then I'm going to punch some of the Cornell notes right now so that I can have those for later. So I was saying that, um, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you order on her shop on Etsy or from her website, you actually get great customer service no matter what, um, which is fantastic. I think that before I was tending to use Etsy more often if I was being indecisive about what I wanted. <laughs> Because Etsy lets me have, you know, obviously, I mean, y'all know this, Etsy, um, you log in and you can have things sitting in your cart, you can save things for later. And so like if you're feeling a little indecisive or if you're, you know, you need to wait till payday um, or whatever, you can set things up in Etsy and then just be able to go in and like purchase them later whenever later is um so I think that might have been why I was having some things on Etsy and some things that I got from her website um so yeah but now on her website you can log in on the fancy plans website and create a cart I haven't tried saving things for later that way so I don't know if you can do that but it is still pretty cool that you can have a login on her, directly on her website with um, with her. So that's awesome. So I went ahead and punched all of these because honestly, you always need note pages. <laughs> so for the pre-planning, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this back here. And I think the way that I want to do this yeah, so this is November. I think what I want to do is, do I want to put this just in the front behind the vellum? Or do I want to put it in the back? Actually, I know what I want to do. I want to go to October. And I actually want to put this actually right here <laughs> because it's pre-planning, right? So you kind of want to have that pre-planning sheet here so that you can go back and take a look at it. Oops, but I don't want it. Yeah, I don't want it before the sticky notes, I want it after the sticky notes. So I'm gonna take out the October pre-planning sheet. 
And I'm going to put that one behind September. And we'll put this one here because that's going to be November pre-planning. And then in November, oh, actually, we'll put the pre-planning sheet for December and November. And then I'm not going to do one in December for January yet, am I? Actually, yes, I am. I'm going to do one for January behind December because two reasons. One, December's already in here. And two, I already moved my, you know, next month or starting in January, I'm going to the cloth and paper um, and using their monthlies and weekly layouts because cloth and paper has dated layouts and Fancy Plants isn't going to have daily layouts in 2021, which does make me a little bit sad, but I'm excited to use the cloth and paper inserts. So let's go ahead and go to September. And then add that, set, add that into there. Let's go back here. So right now for October, I'm a little bit off because this notes one that I have is normally separating the notes from the calendar, but I needed a dashboard, kind of an inbox because I had so much going on this week. And I just decided to use this and move it forward. So let me go ahead and move this blank note paper back. And let me put in, because I know I've got some things coming up that I'm going to need some. I'm just going to really need to use some Cornell note paper for. So let's go ahead and put that in that. And then for November... Oh, I was going to say, hold on a second. <laughs> what did I do with it? <laughs> the, she uses the same note format um, on the back of all of her things that say notes, which is wonderful. So let's just stick this filler paper back here. And this filler paper is just extra fancy plans and happy plan paper. So we'll just stick it in here. All right. Woohoo! So the one thing I'm just not sure about is how I'm going to do this. So I normally punch these um, so that I can leave them in my planner and I just have them like this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to go ahead and do that even though I kind of don't want to mess up her logo down here because I think that's so cute. But at the same time... I gotta have my happy, right? You gotta work what work, work, gotta do what works for you. So that means I kind of punched it out a little bit, but now I'm so happy because I have my, my little flags and I can use them, which is so important. So let's go ahead and just so you can see like the level of transparency here go ahead and just put these over because I actually don't even know like how transparent they are because I've never used these ones from her. If they're like her other ones, you're going to need to write on them with a Sharpie. And I'm just going to put them over words that are already printed here so you can see that white is very transparent. Okay, so that's that kind of taupe. And then this is the rose one. I like the feel of them. They're thinner than the other ones that I got from her. They feel really nice. Um, I really kind of like them. The other ones, it almost feels like I'm like in the habit of like kind of flicking them to make sure I'm only picking up one at a time because the other ones are a little bit thicker, but they also stick together. So then that's the gray. So this is the white. 
this is kind of that taupe or like kind of like latte color the rose color and then kind of like a gray color so you can see they actually have a really good transparency as page flags so you can definitely see the words through them but you can also definitely see some color I can tell you that this white flag is probably going to get lost on white paper um, I think the only reason why you can really see the edge there is because it's over the gray box here but like if I move it like right here you know that like basically blends into the paper <laughs> um so these flags are going to be ones that you're going to want to kind of be careful of you might want to use those over something that is going to give you enough contrast to know that it's even there all right so let's go ahead and put these right back here because we're not going to use them like that are we all right but I love this sort of like minimalist color scheme. This new, these new fancy plants inserts are exactly what I've been needing. Um, it, my, I'm so happy with my planner now. Like I just, I'm happy to open it. Like even though this week especially is really kind of overwhelming um, with work, it's still so nice. To have everything just really organized and really just sort of nicely laid out you'll you've seen on my other videos you know now I do keep all of my functional stickers page flags and things in here so that I just have them with me this planner um, because I do kind of walk all over the house and work in different parts of the house this planner goes with me everywhere and so does my pot of pens um, so I take my um so like if I go and work sit outside on my on my patio then I take all of this with me and so it's just nice to be able to take my pot of pens and my book knowing that I have my functional stickers now my decorative stickers I obviously I keep those on my planner cart and so and I'm not usually like if I take this with me around the house I'm not usually doing decorative stuff um, you know I did all the decorating when I at the beginning um, and I don't do any more decorating after that so um, so you can see like I do all my decorating and then after that it's all function <laughs> um, just all function so I need to be able to have my functional stickers and things ready to go so I am super excited about this um super excited about this order I will um tag or link put the links um in the description box to what I ordered from Fancy Plans thank you so much for helping me make good purchase decisions um, and being able to really just have the inserts that I need and have a functioning work planner. I can't even tell you how much I, how grateful I am um, for that. So huge, 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 huge fan. Um, like I said, the only thing that makes me sad is that there'll be no, um, dated inserts for 2021 everything will be undated so if you can do an undated calendar i can't for work just because of the nature of academic work and the nature of i probably well that's not true as a faculty member i could do undated because i have time to date it myself and i actually kind of don't mind that necessarily um i mean heck i use a bullet journal <laughs> So obviously I don't mind putting in my own dates and, you know, kind of getting that, doing the inspiration around the decor and all of that. But when it comes to the work planner and the fact that as a department chair, I have to plan things out three, six, eight, nine, you know, really more like one, two, three, four semesters in advance. I can't do undated things um because it stresses me out <laughs> but um so anyway 
this is what I ordered. This is what I purchased um, from Fancy Plans. I'm already excited. I already love it. I'm already super happy. Um, don't forget to, um, to click the subscription button, the like button, the notification button on this video so that you'll know whenever I have new content on the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comment box below and I will be happy to answer them. All right, thank you so much for joining me today on this unboxing of my um, new Fancy Plants inserts. Um, I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Enjoy the bounty of your plans. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.